Rebellion. right out of a storybook. What are you up to now? Thank you. 
Alohomora. What do we have here? A demigod. Oh, now, demigods. Enough little place. Hello again, Miss Wolf. Hello again. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? Do you know what you might be looking for? for your business. Hope you'll come and see me again.
The castle must have been quite stately in its time. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rockwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolph Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolph. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rockwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would Bardolph want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolph was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Rebellion! the river near the forest and must be on the right track. I should invest in
Revelio. An entry from Bardolph's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. This mentions in theory, and something about it being Bardolph's turn next. Rebellion! Storybook. Alohomora. Oh, now, damn you guys. being terrorised by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. Madame Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Badov? What do you know of my brother? I regret to say that Badov had been turned into an inferior, and I had to kill him. What? Could you possibly think that an inferior was my brother Bardolph? That's absurd! He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no! No! It can't be! Oh. 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 I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. My apologies. I've not been myself since we last met. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. It's Ranrock I have to thank for losing Bardolf. If only I could somehow rid our Hamlet of these monsters. We're simply at my wit's end. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. 
We should not have to live in... That's the situation with Ram. I'm afraid not. Bad off. I should have done more. It seems as though things are getting worse. I must be on my guard. Situation is demanding for uh, where was it? This is disillusionment. Madame Beaumont described. Huh. Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should be. Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should be. Hello? I can easily get this focus. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. One camp down, one more to go. Let's get. I know you're here somewhere. 
Rather a white coming back this way. Decision running from me. Blame. Motherfuckers. Both camps cleared. Alan Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Rebellion. It's nothing useful here. Except for this. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Do we have to go to the 
Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I do appreciate what you went through to find my brother. Thank you. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. Oh, I wish my brother could have done what you did. Perhaps he'd still be with me now. I'm especially grateful. You did for Bardolf what I could not. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? I do appreciate what you... Thank you. Sincerely. I do appreciate what you went through to find my brother. Thank you. Marvellous. I could always use more of these. Thank you for passing through. Crucio will take some time, I guess. What the f 
why is this area oh this area is a no fly zone that's why and that's why it's guarded by a veil of some kind is this hogsmeade i i think so this is hogsmeade Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved. Well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's alright. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping. Notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. I hope Adelaide's Uncle Roland is alright. She seems very worried. Has he mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river? Intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Rock has fooled you all to your demise. Rebellion. Mr. Rock's trade journal. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me there. journal. map to follow this trail. Rebellion! Oh, 
what do we have here? place for an unaccompanied student. Hmm. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Small me can be like, yeah, I problem. Oh, 
Beautiful. Truly. It's punishment to us all to have that miserable human around. One less follower, Ranrock. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's get this over with. Oh, 
Yeah, tuning in. Hello? Mr. Oaks? Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. I need to find Mr. Oaks' wand. Where could it be?
existences before you were born. Explain it on the spitting and the office and send you. That was meant for me. Explain it on the spitting and the office and send मच्छर की वजह से हुआ
Seems the coward fled. Self free. safety immediately. Have it's dangerous. Good, good. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you. Truly. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ranrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. 
After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ramrock has despised wizard kind. Sees us all as cruel. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detail. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my yes. friend. May life reward me. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. सवाल ये उठता है कि ये जो हेटेड है रैन रॉक का इसको हम लोगों को ख़त्म करना है कि आखिर में फाइट ही करना है फाइट करके उसको मारना है या फिर हराना है पता नहीं to attend by myself. Yeah. Okay. 